I told you Carolina was the pick of the week. I've been saying it all week. Anyone who sees me like in my daily life knows Carolina was the pick of the week because I haven't shut up about it. Props to the Panthers defense for keeping rookie quarterback Justin Herbert uncomfortable all day. That defense was pesky, man, forcing four turnovers and allowing Carolina to seal this win. What did I tell you about Derrick Brown? What did I tell you? Three tackles for a loss? I'm telling you this guy is a beast. He's only going to get better. I think the guarantee I made would he be a 90, 99 overall in Madden within four years. I bet you he gets 99 overall in Madden within four years. I bet you. Watch it happen, man. I'm calling that. Dante Jackson also had a nice interception, took it back 65, 70 yards. This Panthers team is not as bad, and I know I've been, you're probably sick of hearing it if you subscribe to my channel, but this Panthers team is not as bad as everyone's saying. They, honestly, I know, I, I bet there's a lot of Carolina Panthers fans that are saying tank for Trevor Lawrence, right? Tank for that first overall pick. It's not gonna happen. I mean, I think the Panthers might win seven games. I said it since offseason, I like the Panthers at seven and nine. The team isn't that bad, and I love Matt Rule. Teddy Bridgewater was, he was okay like you expect Teddy Bridgewater to be. Teddy Bridgewater is the kind of guy where he's not good enough to go out there and win you the game, but he's not bad enough to go out there and lose you the game. And that's what they have in a quarterback, a, a good game manager. I don't know why people have thrown Teddy Bridgewater's name into the dirt. He did connect with DJ Moore in a really nice deep ball in the fourth quarter that really helped wrap this one up. Betting wise, um, I initially liked the over. I ended up staying away from it, which was, turned out to be a good decision because the under hit. Um, I bet Carolina money line, so I hit big because that was a good payout. This game was generous to me. The rest of the NFL was not really, not so much. Next week, Carolina is home against the Arizona Cardinals. Now. The lines open up, they're getting four points. And normally I'd say bet the Panthers, right? I hate that Kyler Murray's coming off probably the worst game of his entire career. Because I'm almost positive he's going to bounce back next week. I don't like betting against Kyler Murray after that performance. I feel like that Cardinals minus four might be the money pick. But you know, I never make my picks until the weekend, so you'll have to stay tuned. But over, just first glance at it, I'm thinking Cardinals minus four. But stay tuned, because I might tiptoe back to Panthers Nation as the week progresses.